What is up everybody? Today we are back on Minecraft and today we are going to be busting some more myths in the wonderful land of Minecraftia. So for those of you guys who have been around for a super long time, you know that this was one of the very most original series that I ever did on my channel. And uh, today we're going to be starting it back up because it's summertime, it's a, it's a good time of year, and I figure what better time to start up the Mythbusters again than right at the beginning of summer. So that is what we are doing. Now, the myths that I have now are myths that were submitted by people at the end of my last episode, which I think was almost half a year ago, in, uh, in probably October or so, so I mean almost coming up on a year. Um, and so these myths are a little outdated, but I figure we might as well test them anyway because why not? That's what we do here. We do what we want, and uh, I kind of want to do that. So that's what we are going to do. Now, it's about to be nighttime, so maybe we're going to test our first myth at night. And our first myth actually comes from Alex Car... Cam... Camarino? Camarino, I think is how you say that. Alex Camarino, and he says that if we go ahead and we leave the Minecraft game right before we hit the ground, falling from a high distance, which I don't even think you can see the top of that, to be quite honest. Unless, I don't know if that just fades out or if that's actually the top. I don't know. Either way, if we fall from a high distance, we will not die if we leave the game quickly. So, in order to test this, what we're going to need to do is just turn on some host options there. And we are just going to fly ourselves, oh, I think I was already flying, yep, to the very top of this thing. So, all the way up we go. And this is, it, with the new build height, this is so high up. Look, we're still going. I know it's hard to tell that we're moving, but we are. There we are. Oh my god. Heights are high. So... <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're just going to turn off our ability to fly. And then I'm going to attempt to go here, 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 and then yes, in mid-fall. So, oh, okay, this is probably going to be bad because I'm probably going to miss it. We're going to hear our legs crunch before I can even hit it. But here we go. Okay, 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 we good, 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 good. Save. Okay. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm calm okay <laughs> all right all right all right so the game is saving now um it's gonna boot i'm gonna reboot it back up here and i'm gonna catch up with you guys once uh, once we're halfway through the boot up stage all right so i didn't want to waste your time having you guys watch me load that up but you can see there up in the top left hand corner you can see the picture of of the world and you can see that we're almost at the ground there and i guess we're just gonna load it up and see see if death is calling our name if the grim reaper really does stop if we just go ahead and save the game so let's go ahead and see I really hope we live. I love it when there's mists that work that I really don't think will work, but I think this one might work because I feel like the momentum might just uh, might just stop being a thing when you save the game. So, let's see. Oh, oh, loading spawn area, load faster. And see, I don't want to cut this because we're gonna see right now. Oh, and we're on the ground, and we're fine, and we're good. And I I don't have fly on, right? No, nope. and say okay. So that does work. That does work. All right, myth confirmed. You were right, my friend. Very good. Okay, I can't believe that actually worked. I did not think that would work. Um, so I guess that's one way to survive a fall. Just uh, go ahead and save your game in mid-fall, or just leave the game in mid-fall. And when you rejoin, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So this myth was confirmed. Okay, so our next myth is actually another fall survival myth, and really has absolutely nothing to do with this guy right here. So I'm not why, sure why I'm looking at him. Uh, uh, but either way, it's another fall survival myth. And this myth comes from both Brian, and I think you say it, Chong... Maybe. Uh, I apologize if I just butchered your name. I really am sorry about that. Uh, but either way, the myth is that if we fall, if we're falling from a high height and we go ahead and we throw an ender pearl straight down, we will be able to survive the fall at the last second. So, in this conveniently placed chest with conveniently placed items, we can see, oh, hey, we got some ender pearls. So how convenient. So, again, we're going to need to make our way up to the top of this by go ahead and turn on our host privileges. And I don't understand why they had to make this block limit so high. This is incredibly high. Um, higher than I think it probably needs to be. You see, we're gonna do some unnecessary circle flying here, and here we are at the top. And look at that. I mean, my house is, like, on the other side of, of a perpetual cloud of smoke or fog or something because we're just that high up. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our ability to fly. And, oh, God. Oh, I hate this. Okay, here we go. It's like skydiving, but you don't have a parachute. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! What? I threw it! I threw it. We should have lived. If that was confirmed, that should have worked. However, I am going to go ahead and test it again because maybe I just threw it too late. That's possible because it looked like I hit the ground before I teleported. So maybe, maybe I'll take, I'll take the blame on that one. We're going to do it one more time and see if we can get this thing to work properly because I feel like, I feel like if the last one worked, I feel like this one should work as well. So I'm just going to throw the ender pearl a little bit earlier 
And uh, we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt here. So here we go. I'm going to throw it right now. Oh, the Ender Pearl's behind me. What? Okay, so we fall faster than the Ender Pearl. So I guess I've, I literally have to throw it at the last second. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We good. We got this. All right. I like to give these things the benefit of the doubt because half of the time I'll do a myth. And at least one of the three that I do, people will be like, you did that wrong. You did that wrong. And we'll have to end up revisiting it later on. So to, in order to try and avoid that, I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn off the ability to fly so you guys don't know I'm cheating. Even though I'm pretty sure if you start flying mid-fall, you die anyway. But either way. Oh! Okay. That, that thing, like, it does not work. This, this just does not work. But there is one thing that I think might work. So... In the spirit of true myth busting, we're going to try and figure out how this actually would work. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw the ender pearl at something else. So it'll hit and maybe that will shift my momentum to some kind of other, some kind of physics term, physics, science, 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 this, that. And uh, we'll survive. So, <laughs> so I know that probably made little to no sense because I'm not a physicist. But either way, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw this at the wall at a height we should survive at. Oh, there we go. Okay. See that right there? And right there, and we're alive. Boom. Okay, so that is how you can survive a, a fall. And you saw we just kind of froze midair, which I definitely don't think is how physics works. Oh, but I guess I didn't freeze there. Strange. What? Oh, there. Okay, so I guess if you throw it down on something, you, you kind of glitch up on the block. So I guess we determined something new. Actually, can I climb my house with this? Ow, ow. Okay, maybe not. I think you actually probably could, but I'm not going to try it because, yeah. So anyway, I guess that myth kind of works, but kind of not, because, ow, I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> I thought I had another ender pearl and I was going to try and climb it, but then I didn't, so trash. But uh, anyway, like I said, I guess that myth kind of works, but kind of doesn't. I think we're going to go ahead and say it's busted, primarily because I the way that they said doesn't actually work. So I think we're going to call it busted. And uh, yeah, so I guess that myth was busted. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my map here. And for the third and final myth we are going to be doing... I actually can't even do it on this map because this was actually the original map that I built or I guess the original map that I started ever at like the very 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 beginning of Minecraft and you can see here that when I get to what I think would be the end of the world but actually isn't you can see here that it just kind of cuts off and the world just kind of ends so for the final myth that we're going to test I actually need to boot up a new world that'll have you know not a world like this on the edge because if you look at the map we're actually not even at the edge of the world um, so I need to go ahead and boot up a map that, uh, that'll that work for us, and then we're going to go ahead and do myth number three. Alright, so as you probably could have guessed from what I just said, this third and final myth actually has to do with being on the edge of the world. As you can see, I am here. And uh, this myth comes from Grim Zeno, and he says that if we go ahead and we use a sticky piston to pull a block away from the wall here, we can actually then go ahead and mine it. So to start off, obviously you could see here, I cannot mine these blocks right here. And uh, I guess the general idea is just to put down a sticky piston and then smack a lever on it, push it out. And if I can pull back this block and mine it, this myth will be confirmed. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, and can I? Oh, and I can mine it. Okay, wow. So that actually does work. So if there's ever a block on like, all right, let me get rid of that. Ugh. Oh, I can't even put a block in there to stop the water. Gross. Okay, well, we got to put it on top. There we go. Okay, so if there's ever, like, a part of the map, like, I've seen videos where um, people are trying to, you know, um, what's it called? Oh, there's, like, a diamond, like, a diamond, like, in here instead of sand. It's a diamond, and they they can't mine the diamond. It's, like, troll, 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 and I saw it actually on a subscriber's uh, channel. So if that was your video, I did see that, uh, whoever that was. But either way, I saw it, and they were trying to get the diamond, but they couldn't get the diamond because it was in the wall. So I guess you can go ahead... And use this technique to get diamonds from behind the wall. And I imagine that if you actually go ahead and you take another uh, piston here. And you push this. Wait, do these pull each other? Oh, they do. Okay. So if you do that and then you do this. Oh, that doesn't work. Hold on. Oh, that's right. It has to go directly into the back. So if we do. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. So I guess you can't actually uh, grab any more blocks further out except for just this first one here, unfortunately. However, that doesn't negate, I guess, the validity of this myth at all. Oh, and side note, there was a ton, a ton, a ton of iron here when I originally came down here. There was there was probably four times as much iron as you guys can see here now, originally. But either way, this myth is confirmed. 
thank you, Grim, for telling me about this myth. That's actually incredibly helpful, especially yeah, if you're ever mining and you come up to the side of the world and there's that diamond. So now you guys know that you can get uh, get the, at least the first block from from on the other side of uh, the map limit. And uh, you can still mine that up with a sticky piston. So anyway, I think that's about it for this video. We're, I'm going to go ahead and punch the sand and make it all fall because I'm OP. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. Uh, but either way. I think that's about it for this episode of Minecraft Mythbusters. If you guys have any kind of myths that you want to submit, feel free to drop those down below. And in the next episode, which may become weekly, I will go ahead and look in the description or in the comment section rather, find myths. And if I feature your myth, obviously I will give you a, give you a little shout out in the video. And uh, I really do appreciate you guys submitting myths because without your guys' myths, this series wouldn't be possible. So I do appreciate that in advance. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do drop me a like and look at that well out in the middle of the water. It's like a little buoy. It's like a buoy, no big deal. Uh, please do drop me a like down below and subscribe for some more Minecraft console content in the future because I will have an absolute crap ton of content coming your guys' way for you to enjoy. And look at that, the well goes all the way down so that the water is not tainted. So anyway, like I said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see all you guys later. Peace!